Well, it's against the law and it's an irritation for teachers. Parents taking their kids on a term time holiday made up 10% of unjustified absences from school last year. Now, on the coffee group to discuss the pros and the cons, parenting advisor John Cowan and father, author and traveller Robert Glancy. Good morning to you both. Hi. Now, Robert, have you ever taken your kids out of school for a sneaky term time trip? Yes. I am guilty of stretching the odd long weekend so that it's slightly longer. Um, but I don't do it a lot. We're quite serious about keeping the kids in school. But you do it sometime. Well, I, I, on the other extreme, I took my kids away for a whole year. So <laughs> that's exact, that's... So I took them to France and I was writing a book and I just felt that the experience was worth a year out of school. Mm. And they did go to French school for some of it, so it was, we tried to balance it. But one of the things that, that teaches kids is empathy. You learn that lots of people live in a very different way mm. in different parts yeah. of society. So Obviously, that's a really good you lesson. You great benefits in travel then for kids. Hugely, yeah. And I travelled a lot as a kid, so I really believe in it. Mm. So John, what do you think? What are the potential pitfalls of taking your child out of school? Well, the other 90% of absences are the real worry. The 10% where people are travelling, I don't think that's a worry at all. Uh, I think that kids need consistency in their education. Parents need to be stressing the importance of going to school. But education is so important that school shouldn't get in the way. And some of the best learning you can do is travelling. I distinguish between travelling and just lying on a beach somewhere. OK, good. Travelling is fantastically educational. It's proven to be so. It really is. So yeah. we're talking about travelling on trips where you're learning things, where you're seeing <laughs> new cultures, like Robert yeah. did with his kids. Maybe not necessarily for a year, because yeah. that's a very long time and probably a little bit expensive for most people. Uh, yeah. Great if you can do it. Yeah. 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 And you're talking holidays as in taking them out a week before holidays start because it's a cheaper deal or you can get the beaches to yourself and that sort of thing. No, Surely there's some educational I wasn't thinking quite like beach. that. I was thinking of each. There, uh, there are, and that's something that schools could be doing, uh, and that is enhancing the learning that you could do while you're travelling. And I'm glad that teachers actually are on to that. Usually they have to say to parents, no, you're not allowed to, wink, wink, wink. But here are some things that you can do while you're travelling. And I think that's a fantastic approach to it. I must admit, I have been known to take my children out, not recently, but when they were younger, mm. out of school. And we spoke to the teachers about it, and we got them all to keep a journal mm. while we were away. And they documented what they were doing. And oh, we were nice. in Asia, yeah. Uh, yeah. travelling around. I was taking them back to where they were born, in Asia. And so it was quite a special trip mm. for us. And we got them to document and see everything. And they really loved that. And they came back and they shared it with their classes. Yeah, yeah. we spoke to the headmaster... Mr Cunningham at Belmont Primary School and we basically said we were taking Lily out for a year um, and he said that was fine, you know, he absolutely supported us doing it so I, I think some good educationalists will let you do that. Okay, but yeah. obviously you've got to be careful and not just do it every, all the time because no. that's not going to be good for your child or for the schools. The teachers watching now, well they won't be watching, they'll be at school, <laughs> rolling their eyes I'm sure yes. going, what are you all talking about? Yeah. yeah. Psychologist Sylvia Ribb studied successful women and overwhelmingly the women that, had been, that were successful in later life, they look back to childhood travel as being one of the key things that broadened their experience and deepened their ability to learn. Love to travel. So is there an age where we should stop doing that though and not take your child out of school? Uh, timing's crucial. Yeah, we were lucky with our kids because they were both quite young. George was still in kindy. But I travelled randomly throughout my life. I was born in Zambia and brought up in Malawi. I lived in Edinburgh for a long time. But I also achieved really good academic um, grades and I got a good degree. Mm. So mm. it's possible. You just have to be careful. And it's specific to the child as well. Exactly. Yeah. It depends a lot on the child as well. Absolutely, okay. yeah. Well, it's very topical at the moment and a lot of food for thought there as well. Thank you both very much. Thank Robert you. Glancy and John Cowan. Uh, great parenting advice.